Welcome to State of Tech. Let's go over how to use Do Not Disturb on your Note 5. So we're going to come into our settings, we'll come over to our device tab, and now we're going to tap on sounds and notifications. Down below we've covered in another video how to manage your notifications, which you can tap on the card in the top right hand corner to go ahead and view that video. But now on Do Not Disturb, if we tap this on, we can either turn on now, which is going to mute all of our notifications to our device, and that way anything that comes in will not be actually ring. So if we get a phone call, we're not going to see the phone pop up. If we get a text message, the text message notification won't pop up. And this is going to be across all of the apps, all over the device. So that's turned on, but notice that we have down below scheduling options and then exceptions. So if I choose to schedule Do Not Disturb, what this will do, I can choose days and the start time and end time. The way that I typically like to set this up is I'll choose days. I'll go ahead and choose Monday through Friday. So I'll go ahead and uncheck Saturday and Sunday. So now I've got the weekdays and what this is going to do, I'll choose a start time. I like to set mine for about 1030. So I'll go ahead and come on the number over here and go ahead and put it to 30 but you can choose whatever time you want this is just my preference here so i have 10:30 p.m set up so that's going to start at 10:30, and i'm going to end it at 6 30 in the morning the next day so now what i have effectively done is on monday through friday from 10:30 p.m to 6 30 a.m the next day is actually going to enable do not disturb so that way any notifications that come through it will not ring my device. So the LED indicator won't light up and all the alerts and calls will be silenced. But what I like to also do is set some exceptions. So if I come into allow exceptions here, I can choose my alarms, calls, messages, calls and or messages from specific contacts. So go ahead and turn this on. I use my phone for my alarm. So alarm would be nice to have a notification come through. Calls, I'll go ahead and choose calls and messages will choose messages. So having all of your calls and messages come through kind of defeat the purpose of using Do Not Disturb. So there's an option down below with those two enabled to allow calls and messages from specific contacts. So I can choose favorite contacts only or contacts in my phone only. So that way you don't get telemarketer calls or anything like that in the middle of the night. As long as they're in your contact book, they'll be able to be called. But if you add a contact to your favorites, you can choose just those favorites to be ringed through. So I like to do that because I put my family and friends that I know that I would always want to get something from in my favorites. And that way, whenever they get a hold of me, even with Do Not Disturb on, their message or phone call will still ring through. And then if you wanted to, you can have events and reminders to come through even when Do Not Disturb is on. So now with all of these exceptions set up here, come back out to Do Not Disturb. So now we have Monday through Friday from 1030 to 630. We have everything set up and all of my exceptions for alarms, calls and messages will come through even when Do Not Disturb is turned on. And I can always quickly, if I want to Do Not Disturb to come on automatically, do the scheduling, but if I was going to go into a meeting or something and wanted to come on immediately, just come in here and tap turn on now. And now do not disturb is automatically turned on. Notice in the top left hand corner, we have a little circle with a line through it, letting me know do not disturb is on. So that's going to mute all of my notifications. So that is how you manage do not disturb on your Note 5. And for more Note 5 tips, be sure and visit stateoftech.net.